Are you excited? Today, you're going to be meeting another one of my animal family members. This is my favorite stick insect on the whole planet. One of the largest, certainly one of the heaviest. Are you ready? Da, da, da. Say hi to Sticky Vicky, everybody. And say hi to Sticky Steve. Now, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to show your support by liking or leaving a comment. I very much appreciate it. Keeps me going, so thank you for that. Firstly, say hi to Vicky. Isn't she just gorgeous? In fact, the jungle nymph is one of the prettiest stick insects in the world. I'm sure you'd agree with that. Look at their beautiful markings on their body. Aren't they just adorable? During this vlog, we're going to be talking about animal group. Which animal group do they belong to? Size difference between the male and the female and how big they grow. Their habitat, where they like to live in the wild, diet, what they like to eat, defense strategies, how they protect themselves. We're also going to be talking about if, if the jungle nymph is a suitable pet for a child. So stay tuned everyone. Now let's have a closer look. How many legs can you see? Well done, six. Creatures that have six legs are called insects. And this is a stick insect. There are many different kinds of stick insects and the jungle nymph is one of the prettiest. This is one of the heaviest insects on the planet. They can weigh, the female in particular, can weigh up to 70 grams. Oh, Vic is just taking a break. When it comes to the jungle nymph stick insects, it's easy to tell the male and female apart. You can see Vicky just there resting and this is the male, he's called Steve. Say hi to Steve everyone. Isn't he just adorable? Now you can tell them apart quite easily. The male is brown and he's got wings on his back. He can take off but it's more of a flutter than a full flight and the wings are bright vivid pink. Um, and he's much, much thinner than the female. Now the size difference, well the females grow to be about 15 centimeters long, whereas the males, they're about 10 centimeters. The jungle nymphs come from the tropical rainforests of Malaysia in Southeast Asia. In captivity, it's important that we replicate their rainforest habitat as much as possible by giving the stick insects plenty of room to move around and explore giving them 30 degree temperature during the day, high heat, which is dropped down to about 18 degrees at night time, a UV lighting, providing them with fresh leaves and water every day, and to help with humidity, being sprayed at least twice a day. Their diet, what do they like to eat? Well, stick insects such as Sticky Vicky like to eat a variety of leaves. So they can eat raspberry and blackberry leaves. They can also eat oak leaves, but her favorite food are bramble leaves. Most stick insects we know live for about a year, but the jungle nymph can live up to two years if given the right care. When it comes to defense strategies, the jungle nymph is in a league of its own. The first line of defense, however, is the same as most stick insects. Guess what that is? When spotted by a predator, keep as still as you can. Do not move a muscle. Oh, I blinked, I'd get eaten. <laughs> the jungle nymph keeps as still as it can to avoid being eaten like most of the stick insects. Second line of defense, the jungle nymph can make a rasping sound by rubbing its wings together. These tiny wings that you can just about see, they can rub them to make a sound to put off predators from eating them. The third line of defense for the jungle nymph is to literally to do a handstand. How cool. Okay, I'm going to try and find you a picture of a jungle nymph doing that when they're threatened and of course Vicky isn't threatened so she's quite happy on my hand. Now they do a handstand 
on their front two legs and then jab these spikes or thorns into the potential predator which will automatically get the predator to drop them and that helps them to avoid being eaten. Another defense mechanism is that they can curl this pointy bit right round mimicking a scorpion. How awesome is that? Reproduction. Once the male and the female have mated, the female will deposit her eggs by burying them in the soil. The jungle nymph eggs take such a long time to hatch. They can take between 12 to 14 months, which is a very long time. Therefore, you have to be super patient with them. Now, I have given you lots of information about the amazing jungle nymph. I hope you've enjoyed learning those facts. Now, do you think this creature is suitable for you to keep as a pet? What I would like you to do now is to draw Sticky Vicky or Sticky Steve, or you can draw both of them if you want to. Send your sketches in, put your name and the area you're from, and also give your school a mention as well if you would like to. Don't forget to like.